Hey guys, I'm making this video because I feel like a lot of people are either looking for the right tools to groom their dogs or have the right tools but don't know how to properly use them. So first, the equipment. I have a pin brush, a slicker, and a comb. So the, for the pin brush, I like to use the Chris Christensen number 27. I like this brush because it's a nice size for big and small dogs. And the pins are quite long on a very uh, soft cushion. And you'll notice that the pins don't have a ball at the end. And I don't like the balls on the pin brush because I find that it gets caught in the coat and it pulls the hair and causes discomfort. Next, we have a slicker brush. So for daily maintenance, I like to use the Safari Flexible Slicker. You can see that the paddle itself is flexible. So I find that dogs who don't like slicker brushes tend to accept this one better because it's softer on the skin. Now, a lot of people swear by the Coral Slicker from Chris Christensen. And I like it for when I groom the dogs and it gives a very nice finish but I don't think it's completely necessary for daily maintenance. For daily maintenance, I would go with the flexible slicker. And probably the most important tool you can have is the simple comb. So this is a greyhound comb that has wider gap teeth and narrow gap teeth. And I bought it off of Amazon for probably less than $10, but this is the most important tool that you can have to ensure that your dog is not matted. Now in terms of products, these are both detanglers that I use for taking out mats. I use the Pantene spray on um, detangling spray for daily maintenance, and this helps me keep the dogs um, mat free. So if I see a mat, I drench it in this detangling spray, and then I can use the Greyhound comb to then comb it out. Now, a lot of people swear by the Cowboy Magic Gel Detangler, and it is a great product, and I use it for very stubborn mats. But at the same time, I find that it leaves a residue on the coat after you've brushed them out and it can cause dirt to build up in that area and can cause further matting down the road. So I only use this product for very stubborn mats and when I know I can brush and uh, wash the dog afterwards to wash out the product. So Penny is going to be our model for today. I'm going to use Penny to show you how I brush my dogs on a daily basis. So first, I'm going to use the pin brush. And with this brush, what I want to do is get out the big knots and also use it to remove any debris. So leaves, branches, food, anything like that that's stuck in them. So ideally, I would be going over the entire dog with this brush. But for the purposes of demonstration today, I will just do her back. After I go over the dog with a pin brush, then I want to do the dog in more detail using the uh, slicker. So with this, I'm going to part the hair and do this in small sections on the dog. So for example here, I'm going to part the hair and I'm going to brush all the way down to the skin. So what you want to see is this nice line and the skin exposed underneath. And this is what they call line brushing. Okay. And now that I've done this part, I'm going to take a little bit more hair, the next layer, and brush that. And you want to do this in small sections. Okay, and then continue. A little bit more each time. Good girl. Okay. Good girl, Penny. Yes, very good. Okay, okay. Okay, Pin Pin, here. And see how I just do a little bit at a time, a very thin layer at a time, and each time I want to make sure I see that line. Good girl. And again, I'm just demonstrating on one part of Penny's body, but you will want to do this for every part of the dog. In particular, you want to focus on parts of the dogs that mat more. Um, so that would be the legs, the face, the belly, under the arms. You want to especially make sure those parts are all nicely brushed out and mat free.
we go. Good job. Okay, so assuming I already did the entire dog, I can use my pin brush to just lay down the coat again flat. Now to check whether the dog is properly groomed out and that there are no mats, I'm gonna use a Greyhound comb and go through the coat and comb down to the skin. And pin pin. And if my comb gets stuck at any point, that means there is a mat. Okay, now what to do when you find a mat? So I found a little mat sort of in her armpit here. See this little ball here? So what I'm gonna do is first isolate the mat and I'm gonna take my spray and just really soak the mat with the spray. Just really work it in there. Okay, so now that I know that the entire mat is completely drenched in the detangling spray, I'm going to take my greyhound co uh, comb. Pen and stay. Good girl. Come here. So I'm going to take the wider tooth end and just gently tease the mat from as far out of the mat as possible, starting there. Just slowly tease the mat out. And make sure you grab onto the mat itself so that it doesn't pull the dog because it's going to hurt. Pim pim pim. Ooh, what's that? A cookie? Come in, pim. Okay. So I'm going to keep pin and stay still. Good girl. Stay still. So yeah, just grab onto the mat and just slowly tease it apart. And you can see that strand by strand, it's coming undone. And make sure you slowly work your way towards the skin. And at the end, you should be able to get your comb teeth right down to the skin. girl. Okay, now that I've generally teased it out with my coarse end of the comb, see those little matte balls that are stuck on there? Take those off and then I'm going to use my fine teeth end and go over the mat again. And now you can see that the comb goes through the wet area relatively easily. And if it gets stuck, make sure that you hang on to the end of the mat that's closest to the dog so that when you brush and comb, it doesn't pull the hair on their skin. Pen, pen. Here. Good girl. Come. Come. Good job. Okay, so let's just double check. So this was where the mat used to be. And we're just combing through. And see how the comb can go through that area nicely now so we know that the mat is gone. Oh, there's a little bit more. So always make sure you're protecting the dog by hanging on to the, the end of the mat that's closest to their skin. And so you can see there's like a little bit left in there. And voila. See? Good girl. And sometimes what I also like to do after I take out the mat is to use the slicker brush again and just kind of go over the area. Sometimes you'll have little balls that are still stuck in there. And if you leave the balls in there, 
it'll help seed future mats. So if you can get those out, that'd be great. All done. So at the end of your grooming session, after you have brushed through the entire dog, checked for mats and detangled the mats, what you want to see is that when you work your comb through the coat, oops, when you work your comb through the coat, that there are no tangles and it doesn't stop anywhere. And you want to make sure the, the comb goes all the way through down to the skin. And then when you split the hair, you can see how it's all tangle free there. All right. And then you know that your dog is properly brushed and combed out and is mat free. All right, I'll give Penny some more cookies. Good girl. Thanks guys.